ladies and gentlemen um, welcome sa ating um, tutorials by the way this is silent trader okay so this time we will be discussing the exponential moving average kung ano yung basic uh, understanding on this kind of strategy okay so before we will start uh, we will um, um, learn the basic information about expon exponential moving average so by the way exponential moving average or EMA in short uh, ay, ay isang type of moving average so maraming moving averages example si MACD isa din yang moving average ang tawag sa MACD is moving average convergence and divergence so maraming mga computation din na makapagbuo ng isang output ng isang indicator and um Si EMA, isa din yan. Okay? So, meron din tawag, tayong tinatawag na simple moving average. And, um, yung moving average lang. Okay? So, yan. Maraming, maraming klaseng moving average. But, I am very attracted, attracted to, ano, sa um, exponential moving average. Dahil, napaka, ano eh, napaka efficient siya sa mga um, support and resistance. Okay? And usually, talaga, sa mga traders, sila yung gumagamit ng exponential moving average. Okay, yan yung uh, gagawin natin. We will tackle and we will discuss and discover the strategy of exponential moving average. Okay, so let us start. So, by the way, this is our weekly time frame. Okay? Sa weekly time frame natin, makikita natin yung kulay green. Okay? That is the EMA20. And um, the orange line is the EMA50. And the red line or the red curve is the EMA100. Okay? We have also a um, EMA200. Okay? Saan yung EMA200? Ito. Uh, exponential moving average 200 days. Kulay blue. Okay, yan. Isa-isahin natin yan. Okay? So, always put in your mind, guys. Always put in your mind. If you have your notes there, you can take note, okay? Or uh, have save it in your phone. Na kapag uptrend ang isang market, si EMA20, yung lagging, magiging support dyan, okay? So, ang isang moving averages or isang EMA ay magiging support siya kapag uptrend yung price or yung crypto natin. Halimbawa dito sa weekly ni Bitcoin, okay? So kung makikita mo, nasa taas siya sa lahat ng mga moving averages, okay? So every drop diyan or every touches sa mga moving averages, meron talagang mga bounce. Okay, let me check. Okay, so i-check natin para meron tayong proof na na ganyan talaga yung mangyayari. Okay. So this is a, a bull market. So, ano yung bull market? Ay yung palaging pataas yung price. Okay? So, check natin yan. Okay, ito. Yan, kung makita mo. Napaka-curve na yung line niya, okay? So, yan. Lagi, lagi na natin ng curve. Okay. So, yan yung uh, galaw. Okay? Yan yung galaw ng coin natin. So, yan. So, This is a bull market. Kung makita mo, napaka-uptrend yung, yung galaw niya. Okay? So, as what I have mentioned earlier, na kapag ang isang crypto or price ay, ay pataas or bull market, yung exponential moving average natin ay magiging support. Okay? Halimbawa, dito. Okay? So, makikita mo, merong price reaction dyan. Dito, may price reaction din. Okay? Dito, every touches, meron talagang price action. Okay? So, yan yung napakaganda kay EMA or exponential moving averages. Okay? Yan. Until such time na nagiging ano eh, invalid na yung EMA 20 natin. Okay? So, ano yung mangyayari pag invalid yung EMA 20 natin? The next support would be the EMA 50. Okay? or exponential moving average 50 days okay so yan always remember also guys that uh, a number that uh, nasa dulo ng ima is representing 
the number of days. Okay? So, yung green natin, green uh, line is the EMA 20 or 20 days. Yan yun. Uh, Naka-average yung 20 days price action. So, yan. So, kung nakikita nyo, nung nabasag na, okay, nung na-violate na ni Bitcoin or yung price, yung EMA 20 natin, as you can see, okay, yung nagiging support natin is the EMA 50. Okay? So, nagre-react talaga siya yan. Okay? So, and then, pag once na nabasag si EMA 20 at nagiging support si EMA 50, Ano yung mangyari? Yung EMA20 naman ang magiging resistance. Okay? Am I, am I right? Okay, check natin. Baka, baka uh, masasabi nyo na gawa-gawa ko lang. Okay, so let us check dito. Okay? So na-mention ko na nag-break or na-invalidate na yung EMA20 natin. At yung nagiging support natin is si EMA50. Yung twi uh, EMA20 I mean, natin ay magiging resistance ito nagiging resistance siya but it failed to recover or break the EMA20 so hindi siya nakapag recover dito so or nagiging above um, EMA20 just like what happened to the previous rally okay nasa ano eh, na nasa above EMA I mean EMA20 sila lahat so ang nangyari dito nagiging resistance and then what happened nagre-retest ulit siya sa EMA50 natin. Kung tingnan nyo, andito siya. Okay? So, nung nahit yung EMA20 natin, bumagsak siya at nahit naman yung EMA50 natin. So, ang nangyayari dyan, nag-bound siya dahil maraming, ano dito, maraming um, buyers dito or demand itong area na to, nag-bound siya at nagre-retest ulit sa EMA20 natin dito. Okay? So, very useful talaga. Pag may strategy gan dito, talagang malalaman mo yung, ano, yung galaw ng market. Okay, so, uh, zoom out. I mean, zoom in natin para uh, ma-clear natin yung galaw. Okay, after that, okay, after that, dalawang retest dito, dalawang retest dito sa taas, doon na na break si EMA 50. Okay, what will happen? Kung ako nakakita nito, okay, kung ako nakakita nito, I will go short. Okay, I will go short. By, by the way, always remember na isa itong high time frame. Okay, or I mean um, higher time frame. So, ito um uh, pag nakita mo dito na may ano um, red candle na nabasag sa EMA 50 and we will go short, okay? At dito, yung EMA 100 natin ay ang magiging next support. Okay, yan yung magiging next support natin. So, once na may bounce dyan, it will retest both EMA50 and EMA20. Okay, ano, ano nangyari ngayon? So, uh, let us move the uh, the chart. Okay, ito. Meron ding another retest dito. Okay? Merong another retest dito at dito. Okay. So, napaka-downtrend yung galaw sa ganitong magpangyayari, okay? Napaka-downtrend talaga. O bagsak, meron siya, nag-create siya ng uh, higher low and lower low. Okay, yan yun. Ito yung higher, I mean, I mean the higher low sa taas and sa, sa baba naman ay lower low. So, yan. Ano yung yari dito? Okay? So, once there will be a golden cross, so ano yung golden cross natin? Yung once in moving average 20, 50, 100, or 200 Pag may cross dyan That is a sign for a downtrend Or uh, breakdown Okay So ano nangyari dito? Yung last retest dito Okay So meron tayong last retest dito So once na uh, invalidated naman Or na reject siya dito Okay So we have seen really a the um, big uh, rejection dito at bumagsak, okay? So, retest ulit sa ilalim. Ikaw, ilan ng retest? 1, 2, and this time, okay? This time, nagiging weak na yung market at bumagsak dito, okay? Ito yung last invalidation. At nag-cross din yung landas ni EMA20 
at ima 100. Okay. Yan yung napaka ano eh, napaka ganda tingnan. At nang nag-cross dito, yun ang lakas ng bagsak. And, okay? Um, nabasag na si IMA 50, nabasag na si IMA 100. The next support, okay, would be the IMA 200. Okay, so tingnan natin kung meron bang bounce dito. So, ayun. Meron talaga ng bounce dito, okay? Is it very useful? Kaya nga ito yung ginagamit ko na indicator as the moving averages. So, dito may bounce kung ikaw o ako. Nalaman ko yung strategy ng IMA or exponential moving average. Ito yung gagawin ko. Pag may bounce diyan, I will really hold my long position. Okay? I will really hold my long position dahil it will possibly or higher chance na mag-bounce. Okay? Especially sa higher time frame. Okay? So, yan. And um, ito nakita natin na may uptrend. Nag-retest ulit siya sa IMA 20. Okay? Retest sa IMA 20. So, by the way, IMA 20, hindi gaano kalakas yung yung uh, um, resistance. And di ba, na-mention yung kanina na pag ang isang crypto or price ay bull market, ano yung mayayari? Yung lahat ng mga moving averages or exponential moving averages ay magiging support. At ngayon, kabaliktaran. Nagiging, ano siya eh, uh, from, uh, from bearish market, nag-start siya ng uptrend, nasa ibaba siya ng mga moving averages. Ang magiging scenario dito, the EMA 20 will be the first resistance. Okay? So, it's either i-reject niya or hindi. So, possibly talaga, pag once EMA 20, hindi gaano kalakas yung um, resistance niya. So, yun, nabasag. Okay? Nabasag siya. And, um, mayroon tayong retest sa EMA 50 and EMA 100 dito. May retest. As you can see, okay, malakas yung mga resistance dito. Pag, uh, pag malaking base, malakas yung impact ng price. So, kung nakita niya dito, meron siyang cross. Okay? Or, meron siyang Uh, meet up with the IMA 50 and 100 uh, Nagiging resistance siya dito Yun yung nangyari, merong pullback okay? Merong pullback Pero wala siyang retest Sa ating IMA 20 okay? Wala siyang retest Ang nangyari dito, patuloy siyang tumaas At yun, na-break na Once na-break na at merong cross okay? I mentioned earlier also Na once na may cross upward A sign for a bullish market pag daw naman, cross, okay, a, a, a sign for a bear market. So, yan. Yan yung dapat ating tandaan. Ja, uh, medyo, uh, ano eh, karintulad siya ni MACD. But, si moving average, averages kasi, is will act as support and resistance. Okay, yan. So, I hope na intindihan nyo kung paano gamitin yan. Okay? So, yan, dito, same scenario. Nasa above di ma-20 siya. Okay? And yun, nabasag siya dito Nagiging support naman Si IMA 50 okay? And retest okay? Every time na may breakdown dito sa IMA 50 It will retest the IMA 20 okay? yun, yun yung nangyari dito At yun, nag-reject siya Bumagsak siya ulit dito sa ating IMA 100 okay? So nangyari dito Every time na may touches dyan Meron talagang retest upside okay? Yun, nag-retest ulit dito sa nabasag niya sa IMA 50 natin at IMA ano IMA 20 at yun na overcome niya yung yung trend at nasa above IMA 20 siya at itong area na to okay supposedly kung walang walang pandemic or walang COVID-19 it will continue higher okay it will continue higher bakit bakit 'to nasabi dahil ano eh uh, nasa above IMA 20 na siya kung nakita niyo dito Okay, once a, a price uh, goes up above EMA 20 in weekly TF, malakas yung possibility na tataas siya. So, anong nangyari dito dahil sa pandemic? Nag-retest siya ulit. Okay, mal malalim na malalim yung uh, price action or yung candlestick natin. Dito siya, pinasad niya yung weekly EMA 200. Okay? At nung nabasag siya, meron malaking pullback. At ang nangyari doon, nag-close siya sa IMA 
200. Okay. So, is it is it a, a um, significant sa ating support? Yes, of course. So, ang nangyari dito, kung nag-close siya below the EMA 200, yan yung critical zone. It will really revisit sa pinakailalim. At pasalamat tayo sa EMA 200 dahil maraming demand dyan, even though na mayroong pandemic. So, as you can see, yung history kasi ng Bitcoin, it was made for the crisis. Okay? So, yan yung um, kahulugan ng Bitcoin. Um, Satoshi Yakamoto gave birth to Bitcoin because of the crisis during 2009. Okay? You can confirm that through searching in Google. So, makita nyo yan kung paano ginawa ni Satoshi Yakamoto, I mean Satoshi Nakamoto, yung uh, Bitcoin. Okay? So, yan yung nangyari natin dito. So, akala natin na bubulusok at bubulusok pa si Bitcoin. Pero, tumaas pa, uh, tumaas pa siya. Okay, yun. And um, yung current situation ni BTC ngayon, it's really a uh, good thing na sa above, lima 20 na siya. Okay? And also, always remember, andito na yung halving natin. At nasa above, lima 20 na siya sa weekly EF. At mayroon pang pabunos. Ano yung pabunos natin? Mayroon cross upward. Okay? Yan yung very interesting na. Mayroon cross upward si Green at si Orange. So, possible na tataas pa si BTC and still it's full of probability okay so at least um, meron kayong natutunan sa atin sa ating um, uh, tutorial and hopefully okay hopefully um, you will like our YouTube channel uh, you will um, subscribe and share and also um, invite your um, your friends to come in our Discord channel and to like our um, YouTube channel, okay? So, watch out for our um, incoming tutorials, okay? So, we will uh, tackle a lot of strategy. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. And once again, this is Silent Trader. Thank you.